hi to Chaco. We have Demon Hunter here. Demon Hunter here for life. Let's send the GCS people a letter. There's a Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter is going to... Uh, he kills one of these guys, kills another guy. There's Tome of Intelligence on the floor. He's got now going for the Renegade Wizard. He's going for the Renegade Wizard. He kills a Ring of Protection now on the Demon Hunter. He's going for the Apprentice Wizard now. He's killing this Apprentice Wizard. He is going to die. Wah! Nice slippers of agility here on the Demon Hunter. Meanwhile, Blade Master, of course, creeping over here at the top right. He bought. He went for an early shop. And he bought two healing salves. No speed scroll. No clarity. No nothing else. Just two healing salves. He gets a ring of protection. Not really what he was looking for. But the Demon Hunter is going to kill this Forest Lost Shadow Priest before the Blade Master arrived. arrives. And uh, that's great creeping here by life. And he's going for the Sasquatch. And here comes the Blade Master. And he, here, here goes the Sasquatch. And here comes the Blade Master. He has dust. The Demon Hunter does have dust. He sees the ground. He sees the Blade Master. Mana burn right on his face. And the Sasquatch is actually just dead, guys. And the Demon Hunter picks up the Replenishment Potion. This, R, this Wisp goes in the tree. He's still alive. Oh, the Blade Master is a bit risky to stand over there to fight the Tree of uh, Ancient War over there. Because there's an archer that can always block him. The demon blade master, is he going to die? Is he just dead here? Is is he just dead? There's a wisp block, there's an archer block. So greedy. But was that in the knife? <laughs> Did he kill his own blade master there? The axe <laughs> it didn't look like he hit the blade master, but I think he did deny the blade master there. 452? You guys remember how much XP he had? Demons are now killing some more trolls. And, um, yeah, these trolls are going to die. These trolls, they live the happy life over here near the merchant. Of course, they had good deals. Oh, this one, he lets this one live. So nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did he let him live? He canceled the replenishment potion. <laughs> you let it first all live and he bites you in the ass. The Blade Master now with the one grunt, two grunts. Blade Master back, he was level one. Of course, he comes back at 36 seconds. And he uh, picks up a nice cloak of shadows. Kills some wizards. And let's go for this level five. Comes the Demon Hunter. He does have boots. Uh, Renegade Wizard is not dead yet. Oh, he mana burns the wizard too early though, but he does get the item. Which was, uh, which item was that? Either uh, second circlet or ring of protection. I forgot which items he had exactly. He's now going for this blade master. 60 critical strike there. That's a very low level uh, hit point critical strike. By the way, the blade master has to be careful again. He does have a speed scroll and he's, there's no dust. Okay. Oh, but there's a reveal speed scroll. <laughs> this time the blade master survives. Just barely though. Demon Hunter of course survives. He has boots. Hello. He's not the... Uh... Oh, the Archer can cancel. The Healing Salve. Oh, wait a second. Is he still going... No, Healing Potion. Healing Potion saves the uh, Blade Master. There's the Beast Master. He's going to Tree of Eternity. Here are the Tier 2. Beast Theory. Spirit Lodge. TC. And the piggies. These uh, units that can get their healing self cancelled very easily by Mr. Piggy. This is what Mr. Piggy does. The archer though, she's uh, in a bit of danger. Demon Hunter, maybe. Now he's being a bit overzealous, but he just TPs out. Can he kill the BL Blade Master? I guess he can. There goes the archer though. The archer and a TP for the Blade Master. Although gold wise, it doesn't seem like it's worth, is worth it. Uh, it's a level 2 Blade Master, so it's probably worth it. Double Angels of Wind is, are going up. Angels of Wonders is going up. A player's forces are under attack. DC with three grunts. Going for the Cobalt Tunneler. <coughs> Gauntlet of Ogre Strength. I don't think he can do much damage here though. He can cast some more, he more healing salves if he can find the grunts. Mana burn. There. What is he doing here? He's going for the uh, burrow. 
No, he doesn't even go for the burrow. Goes for the grunts. Sees the grunts. Here come the piggies. Oh, no, demon under dog. Oh, don't get surrounded. Oh, but, you know, I guess, you know, I guess there was just not enough DPS to get the demon under. He has two circles. He has the slippers. He has a ring of protection. He's pretty hard to kill. So, without uh, the blade master there, just DC and the grunts, you know, even with full surround on the demon hunter, maybe he was just debating, debating the demon hunter getting surrounded, because he knew he could fight his way out through the grunts. Blade Master is back. This grunt is still alive. It's very low. 99 hit points now. 100 hit points. Piggy attacks it once more. Uh, 14 hit points. The piggy can he kill it if he does 15 damage? Maybe. No, he has 15 hit points now. The piggy does 13 to 15 damage. So. If he attacked earlier, he had a 1 in 3 chance to kill the Grunt. Nice fight here against against the Blade Master. We have a Druid of the Talon that casts a Fairy Fire on the Blade Master, so he took a lot of damage. He has no circlet, by the way. This Blade Master is super weak. We never see Blade Masters this weak. Normally, we see at least a circlet on that level 2 Blade Master. But there is a uh, Raider with Ensnare, and of course, there's no TP, there's no staff. Can Life get out of here, or was he being overzealous? No, Life is getting a Naga third now. He, we only see Naga third when the Night of is super far ahead. And all games I've seen Naga third, I've seen the Night of win against Orc. The Naga just shows up, and he just kills everyone. She just kills everyone. Uh, but maybe this is, uh, you know, it could still be the first time we see the Naga lose. Uh, all the other games I've seen this uh, Foggy do this a lot. I think this is the first time I actually see life do it. Maybe not the first, maybe... But we don't see it that often. Uh, there goes another grunt. These guys are still adept. Is he going for the Blade Master? But the Demon Hunter also has to be careful. The Beast Master also has to be careful. There's so many ends there. Oh, he could have attacked the Blade Master there. And killed it. But instead he just died. And the Beast Master also is dead. Maybe a bit of uh, overcommitment here by life. Does he get... Oh, he does have Master now. There, the units are flying. This grunt is also going to die. Cyclone is pretty good. The blade mash comes back with minimal hit points. Is the demon hunter being bought back yet from the tavern? Naga is surrounded. No cyclone here on the TC either. I guess he's, he doesn't have the mana. And there's an snare on this guy. This druid of the talent is, you know, still alive. He's dead now. He has one more snare here. Doesn't buy any heroes back from the tavern, by the way. Demon Hunter. Oh, and he, he was late and building his Demon Hunter in the first place. Hello. He won't have a hero for the next 10 minutes. There, Blade Master finally hits level 3. This Druid of the Talon is pretty dead. I think life, he might, might have thought he was more ahead than he actually was. And uh, he pretty much just threw away the game. Yeah. The game that he had won, he just threw it away. Gave it to Focus. He's like, here it is, Focus. Uh, you should have lost this game, but you can have it. You can have the game. Focus, yeah, he's, he'll gladly take it. Now, Focus might be like, I feel a bit unfair about getting this game. So he might throw it away again. Maybe Focus will throw it away again. We'll see. No, Focus, he's smarter. He's smarter than that. He's like, okay, I'll take the game. I'll take it. I won't do the all-in attack on your well defended position, even though you don't have heroes. I'll get the Scourge Bone Chimes, I'll wait for my peons, I'll get the level 3 TC, and then I'll win the game. I'll build a shop, then I'll win the game. I'll get the Tome of XP, and then I'll win the game. Right? Very smart play by Focus. He doesn't want to throw the game back to life. It's not a game of, uh, you know, throwing... It's not a game of throwing, you know? It's not like, uh, what's a game where you throw? Basketball. This is not basketball, guys. A player's are but the Demon Hunter attack. is back. The Beastmaster will be back in a second. He was just level 1. And then the Naga will be back very fast as well. Life might still have a small chance, but it's small, guys. Demon Hunter is ensnared. He, he's so strong, the Demon Hunter. Look at these items. But he has nothing to save himself. There goes the Raider. The Blade Master uses the Info Potion. There's no Cyclone on this TC. Hello, you have plenty of mana to Cyclone this TC. And uh, he doesn't Cyclone TC, so the Blade Master, uh, Demon Hunter does go down pretty fast. Uh, Beast Master is back. He is by himself now because there's no Demon Hunter. But these Truths of the Talon, they're uh, 
you know, defensive position. This guy is still alive, but he's no longer alive. And the Blade Master is just flying. That's what he likes to do. Can he go for? Uh, can he get the Beast Master? There's the GG. First game goes to focus. Getting the Blade Master again. Life. Getting the Demon Hunter again. Demon Hunter against Blade Master. What the opening of this game. Ancient of War. It's gonna creep this. Attacks uh, this Ogre Magi in the face. Now with his left hand. Now again with his right hand. And again with his right hand. Now again with his right hand. When? How often does he attack left? He seems like he's mostly just attacks. Oh, there's a left handed deck. I guess he's just right handed, but sometimes he switches it up a little bit. There's not a left handed attack on the troll now. And the Demon Hunter gets a claws of attack. What do we get here for the Blade Master? Let's see what we get. Do we get a nice item here? Or a uh, not so nice one? The Grunt takes a bit of damage. Also, claws of attack. They both got claws of attacks. There are more wisps. Blade Master sells DP. Buys the healing selves. Gets mana burned right from behind. Healing self did get cancelled. His grunt also his healing self got cancelled. He's now so uh he didn't have a healing self. Never mind. The grunt here is uh is a bit low on hit points. Blade Master uses all his mana just to do a bit of damage to the demon hunter. I understand. The demons are pretty scary. Blade Master is also scary though. Look at the archer. She's running. She's running for not just for fun, guys. She's not just running here for fun. She doesn't want to be killed by the Blade Master with that use the Dao sword. That's why she's running. There's healing self on the ground. And the archer now she's hiding. She see first she's running, now she's hiding. And because she's green, she uh she has camouflage here on the green grass. No secret hunter's hole here. There's a shop, I guess. Yeah, Ancient of Wonders. Oh, the Grunt saw the archer. Very good eyes by the Grunt. Do we have dust? No, no dust. Demon has dust. Archer's down in trouble though. Blade Master kills her. Ah! Mana burn there on the Blade Master. 50 mana. Wisp in a tree. There's a grunt. Blade Master going for the oh, first soul warlord. Do you want to just killing this uh this null camp? Blade Master and the Crunch going for this virtual warlord. And let's see what item he gets. It's gonna be a great item. Is it gonna be an amazing item? Is it gonna be a really good item? Or is it gonna be even better? Let's see what he gets. He gets healing words. Okay. Healing words. He's gonna use one because his grunts and his blade master kinda low. Yeah, he uses one. But here's the demon. Maybe he can kill it. There. And now this grunt takes a bit of damage. Speed scroll was used here to get his grunts to safety. All these grunts are so low, but uh, the Hunter is level two. There's a beast master. Blade master is also level two. The beast master is just gonna creep. Oh, the blade master sees it though. He sees it. He knows what's up. And he gets it. No. Ah, ah. Blade master though does have mana for another windwalk, and he takes a bit of damage because he got purged. Uh, I wonder if the demon hunter can do something here. No, demon hunter and the piggy are just killing grunts. Uh, the tier 2 buildings, are they? can they be cancelled? I don't think so, right? Maybe if the Beastmaster was there, maybe. With the second piggy, but not without the, the Beastmaster. Demon Hunter just killing a second grunt though. He has a staff, two grunt kills is pretty good. And now he's going for the burrow. Uh, Blade Master is here. He's gonna right click this Beastmaster. He will summon another piggy in a moment. But uh, there's three peons repairing. Oh nice, nice Blade Master surround on this Beastmaster. And the burrow. Oh, no. Nah, he, he went stomp first. <laughs> he went stomp first. He can cancel the staff. But the demon hunter. Is he gonna stop? He's trying to stop. Where's the stomp? No stomp needed. Uh, Blade Master just kills him. Okay. So uh, both the demon hunter and the beast master died. But he killed two grunts and a burrow.
The two piggies cancel a burrow. Can I cancel this one next? Uh, okay, he's going for this one again. The demon is back from the tavern. And uh, he's going to cancel this one now. There's Are there speed skulls here? There's one speed skull. There's more stomp. Stomp is all nice and dandy early game. Against that... Uh, st no more healing wards. Okay. Against the staffing demon hunter. But late game is not that great, of course. Maybe he goes uh, stomp with shockwave? We've seen uh, orc worker do that before. Maybe focus on the game of Orc Worker. Uh, Demon Hunter now in a bit of trouble, but there's no boots here on the Blade Master. He just has a bunch of healing words. Piggy goes poof. There the burrow again, going up. A bit late. Focus at 28, life at 25, but life has adapt, adapt Druids of the Dalen. Demon Hunter almost level 3, the Blade Master already level 3. TC is level 2. He went Aura. Okay. Okay. He's, he's going stomp with the Aura. Team Hunter and the Beastmaster just killing an all Overseer here. Just for fun. Just to get at level 3. Blade Master. Can I get the last hit on this? Uh, no way, right? No. Not even close. Team Hunter, he needs two more XP, guys. Two more. And then he's level 3. TC. Even if he gets level 3, all he gets is level 2 stomp. Oh! The Blade Master just stole an item, right? Did he just steal that uh, circlet? <laughs> Pretty sure he did. <laughs> Pretty sure he just stole a circlet there. <laughs> Blade Master, man, so sneaky. <laughs> so sneaky, stealing the circlet. But now we have a Tinker. These guys are adept. Will they be master soon? They will be master soon. Mana burn on the Blade Master. He also got the last hit on the Null Overseer. Uh, the item, though, was picked up by the Demon Hunter. P Claws of Attack plus 9. Demon Hunter now level 3. Which is important. Against the uh, TC with level 2 stomp. Right? And, I mean, Focus Army is super small. Because of that, uh, the harassed early game, he lost two grunts. He lost so many burrows, and his burrows kept being cancelled. So his heroes are pretty strong. Two level 3 heroes, although he has Stomp instead of Shockwave. And he stole some nice items. He stole the Circlet. He stole the XP of the level 5 uh, Overseer. He stole more XP of uh, Warden's early game. So he did a lot of XP stealing and hero killing, etc. But the Harass was pretty good by life. So I'm not sure who's ahead. Let's see. Who's ahead? Let me just do some math here. We're live on stream. We have the Master Talents. We do have the... We don't have the Orb yet. But the Demon Hunter is pretty strong. Once he gets the orb, this demon hunter is going to be unkillable. In, you know, not unkillable, but he will be killing everything in seconds. He already does plus 15 damage with two gloves of haste. Imagine if he gets that orb. But he doesn't have the orb yet. But he's only three supply behind, which is really good for life, of course. Uh, it's a good supply for life. The TC might be level three, but he doesn't have shockwave. He has stomp, so he might as well be level one. Right? He doesn't. He's out of mana. You cannot just shockwave like. One of the reasons why Stomp is so bad compared to Shockwave is that you cannot even cast once. Because the Demon Hunter just goes and mana burns and usually you don't just fight, right? And you walk in and you Stomp. Now usually you first have this before the battle, this, this engagement, Night of First Orc. And uh, the Demon Hunter is just mana burning and you just throwing your Shockwaves. But there's no Shockwaves to throw and the Stomp is no reason to Stomp long range. The Demon Hunter though has to TP out. TC took a bit of damage. Uh, the Druid of the Talon has micro around. Okay, no. Uh, let's see. One Druid of the Talon died. One Grunt died. He used the TP, but Life now can buy the orb. And he uh, he should be in a much better shape next fight. However, he doesn't have any items. Uh, the Blade Master does buy a heal scroll. We have two heal scrolls here and that info potion. Here we have no info potions and no heal scrolls and no TPs. It's nothing to save heroes. In, I mean, the heal skull is not very important, I guess, especially if there's no wave. But uh, the info potions are pretty important. There's no one uh, no available. He, also, he didn't buy healing potions. He did sell us. Uh, no, he didn't sell anything. He buys the heal scroll. Uh, these blade masters are fake. The TC is out of mana, of course. This uh, druid of the talent goes down. Pocket factory placement. I like it a lot. This healing uh, ward does get cancelled or killed by the piggy. Does he have more? Where's the blade master? Even the real one. Oh, there he is with the info. Uh, 
Potion tried to kill the Demon Hunter, but Demon Hunter, he kills uh, stuff faster than the Blade Master kills stuff at this point. Even with level 1 critical strike. Oh, he only has level 1 Demon Hunter. Hello. Hello, Demon Hunter. Hello. Okay. He only had like 10 minutes to uh, respond to do something, like save his uh, Demon Hunter. It doesn't matter. He could have, uh, you know, bought a TP, TP'd out if he had the gold for it. Or uh, maybe he just didn't have the gold for it. He has the gold for it now. Maybe he didn't back there. Right? A player's forces are under I guess I guess he didn't. But I mean the fight besides the demon to loss wasn't that bad here for uh for life. He killed like two three raiders. Killed the healing ward. And what did he lose? Besides the demon, he lost like one dude of the Talon. So overall wasn't bad by life. He's still in this game. Probably lost more than one, right? Is it 43 supply? I don't see more than one. Hmm. Okay. Blade Master now with two claws of attack, one plus nine, plus 17 damage. He needs uh, to get level four, get an evil potion, get level two critical strike. Also, two healing scrolls were used there by Orc, by the way. And that info potion was used by Orc as well. There's the retraining now by the DC. Which means focus, he still doesn't have the items he needs for the next fight, but you know, those can wait. Because he knows the Demon Hunter won't be uh, back anytime soon. He knows he doesn't have to fight anytime soon. The Beastmaster is still only level 2. I think he wants to solo creep this with the Beastmaster. Uh, although there's still 4 creeps over there. If he creeps both of these camps, I think both these heroes are going to be level 3. And that's going to be great for life, of course. Uh, yeah, life it seems to me like he's still in the... Fine shape. We get Scourge Bone Chimes. Is good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And the Demon Hunter, does he still have the staff? I think so, right? Because he needs the staff to his army. And then, is this level 3? Yeah, this level 3. Beastmaster is level 3. Blade Master is level 4. TC is almost level 4. Here's the Demon Hunter. He has staff. Good staff to the army. Tinker is going to creep to level 3, but he will be in bad position. Doesn't have a TP. Is life gonna die? Oh, he does have a TP. Hello. Hello, TP. There goes Druid of the Talon. It's a Tinker. Tinker hits level 3. So the heroes are much stronger for life now. 3 3 3 is better than 4 and 3. Even better than 4 and 4. You, you rather have, uh, especially in this matchup, you rather have uh, as Night Elf 3 level 3 heroes against 2 level 4 heroes than uh, you know, everyone being low hero, low level. Healing potion on the Tinker. Healing potion on every hero. That's what I was uh, expecting for life. But what What about this? He only has one healing scroll. Focus only has one healing scroll. Can he fight with only one healing scroll? He's only six supply up. There's a shockwave. Hit like only the demon hunter. <laughs> he got mad and burned. There's still some creeps over there and over there. And over there. Of course, a clarity use here on the TC. Blade Master is out of mana. It's gonna creep these tunnels. Blade Master is gonna buy the second heal scroll for sure. Yeah, there it is. And here comes life. Kills a sheep. One hit, one kill. The birdie sees everything. He sees the bad rider. Sees the birdie. There's a fairy dragon there for the bat rider. Oh, Ace of War has nature's blessing, by the way. Is this a gold mine? How much? 3k gold, le gold left in the gold mine. Ace of the fairy dragon was taken out by the, the justify the means. Shockwave hits like three or four uh, dudes of the Talon. Four, actually. There goes the Ace of War, the pocket factory on the high ground. Do we see Cyclone here? No. This was a really good position here for life, so I was expecting a cyclone, just to f try to force a fight over there. This is still f this is still f good enough for life, I think, because the pocket factory is uh, in a really good position and uh, reaches. There's an info potion used on Demon Hunter. The shockwave was used, but uh, there was a last shockwave for a while. The Beastmaster, of course, is retreating. Uh, Blade Master is cyclone. The Demon Hunter fighting in the back. Raider in the air. There's a second pocket factory. Demon Hunter. Is he going to fall? Is it? He has healing. Uh, staff, of course. Staffs out the Demon Hunter. 
Beastmaster is uh, now being focused a little bit. But uh, there's more Cyclone, I assume, on this Blademaster. But the Beastmaster is going to die. Is he dead? He is dead. Oh, and uh, the Demon Hunter is back. There goes a Raider. Focus is the Blade Master though in a bit of danger. Can he save his Blade Master? He has to fight. He has to re-engage. Else he loses his Blade Master. And uh, there he re-engages. And this is not a good re-engagement though. Like he's forced to. But let's see. He kills one Druid of the Talon. And Blade Master flying again. Uh, there's two Raiders dead for one Druid of the Talon so far. In this re-engagement. And the Blade Master is still surrounded. And these peons. They have Empiric Aura. These peons. They're you know. Doing their best. This disco ball in the way. I can't see the blade master. He's killing a druid of the Talon. Team hunter in, well, over here killing units. The TC is using clarity potion. Can cast another shockwave, but he gets mana burnt. Can he get a demon hunter though? There's no staff this time. Uh, demon hunter does die. To the shockwave, to the mana potion and the shockwave. And the blade master. He cannot kill the blade master anymore without the demon hunter. Can he? I mean, no, he can't. Pocket Factory, so he can retreat. The Blade Master and TC killing this Druid of the Talon. Rawr. Clockwork Goblins. Pocket Factory. Demon Hunter is almost level 4. Tinker is uh, level 3. By the way, Demon Hunter is back from the Tavern. He has the Info Potion. Is the Beastmaster almost back? He's almost back. Supplies, 45 against 40. Yeah, 45 against 40. Is TC close to level 5? Level 4.6. He has a mana potion. Blade Master also almost level 5. Once we hit those level 5s, hero levels will shift back in favor of focus. Life still has pretty good supply though. 40, 44 against 45. That's really good for life. If he gets a be yeah, Beast Master will be out here. And uh, this, uh, this attack is not going to work. Of course it's not going to work. We have now a shop here. We have base defense now for life. However, there's only one and a half k gold left for the, for the gold mine, which means we get a free expansion here for life. He already has the nature's blessing. There's a mana potion. Can he kill some? He killed like three or just two. Two dudes of the Talon there. That was a good shockwave. He's now out of mana though, and life is still still has a superior army i think although look at this three healing potions on the beast master no healing scroll though he needs a healing scroll all his juice of talon are a bit low there's no more shockwaves though are they gonna fight again they are going to fight again and this fight will decide the fate of humanity oh no not humanity orc orcanity is that what you call it and ni nidalvanity of this, uh, you know, of the future, etc. 189 critical strike. These, these raiders, by the way, also low on hit points. Nice mana burn on the Spirit Walker 78. This raider shows up. The Spirit Walker does go Speed scroll. Peons are running so fast. He buys a Berserker. Focus buys a Berserker. He needs a Berserker, but his Peon is is going to die. Oh, I love Druids of Talon and Fairy Dragon. Good job staying behind, doing nothing. Okay, the Druids of Talon, they can move forward. Info Potion used on the Beastmaster. Healing Potion as well. He gives the Healing Potion to the Demon Hunter. The TC is taking so much damage. If the TC dies, his game, guys. TC doesn't die. He uses a Heal Scroll. Uh, but he still takes so much damage from this Demon Hunter that does plus 20 damage. The Beastmaster, if he dies, is not the big deal because he just killed the TC. And... Uh, uh, Pocket Factory is beautifully placed to cut off any units far away from Spirit Walkers. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be it, guys. First of all, Shadow Priest is here. The Raiders are going to die. GG. Life wins 1 1. This game, the third game here between Focus and Life in this best of five in the finals of Fast Cup 8. Uh, Focus spawns at the top left so he can creep this golem, of course. But you might think, hey, that's super duper good. It's not super duper good, really. It's not super duper good because he does give the Knight of the, the Time. To just creep this entire creep camp. He gets his own golem. He gets not only a golem. He gets two ogre warriors. And two forest trolls. And he can buy some uh, forest trolls. Shadow priest. And a berserker. For free. Alright. Well if focus spawned for example over here. He would have scouted this with the peon. And the blade master would show up. And he would show up. Uh, maybe too late for the rock golem. But at least he could do some damage. So it depends a bit on what item he gets here. Some items aren't as good as other items, as we all know. Like Devotion Aura is uh, not that great early game. Uh, Belt of Giant Strength, which is not good permanently. 
And let's see what he gets a tome of uh, IQ and the Scourge Bone Chimes. Okay. The tome of IQ, not really the best tome here on the Blade Master. And the uh, Burst Scourge Bone Chimes. Eh. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's. Well, you know what? It is uh, It's a pretty good one. It's one that's also good later in the game. Here comes the Blade Master. Can he get this No Overseer? Demon Hunter doesn't have the dust. Oh, this is gonna be easy for the Blade Master. Easy peasy. I wonder about this creeper out of life. I mean, this, does this not happen every game? Why would you just do this? Why would you creep like this? You'd think this happens every game if you're playing against the Blade Master. Blade Master attacks this guy, kills the Forester Shadow Priest. Now the Demon Hunter takes some more damage. Blade Master has now more XP than the Demon Hunter. So I guess, you know, the early game was good enough for the Blade Master. The Grunt here wants his last hit on the first troll. But the Ancient of War gets it. So no XP for either player. And the Grunt here holding the door so that no one buys a Berserker. I wonder if he wants to buy this Berserker. Focus definitely wants this Berserker, but Life doesn't want to give the Berserker to Focus. So Life just buys it. He has the Info Potion. He might use it here. No, use the TP. And we have a Speed Scroll here for for Focus. Ancient the War just... <laughs> he's retreating through the trees. He's like, F this. See you later. <laughs> yeah, I would I would do the same, man. We saw the first game. The Blade Master was so aggressive against the Ancient of the War. He remembers that. He doesn't want to die again. He doesn't want to die against a Blade Master and a Grunt. He's just war eating some more trees. Team Hunter is doing his stuff. Moonwell going up. Meanwhile, the Blade Master going for this Forest Tool Trapper. He has a Scourge Bone Chime, so with every attack he gets so much hit points back, especially with critical uh, strikes. He gets even more hit points back. Tome of Strength, plus two. Again, not really the Tome he was hoping for. He just wants his agility, really. And again, is he gonna get his Null Overseer? Again, there's no dust here for life. The Grunts, though, maybe they will give it away. The Demon Blade Master, maybe he will give it away. Uh, life got the XP and the Ring of Protection here. It's not as bad here for life as it is for uh, Focus. The Ring of Protection to this. Ancient War in danger again. Hello. Hello. Bye bye. Bye bye, Ancient of War. Bye bye. What's uh the demon bought some boots? He's now much more slippery. Like a eel. He's like a running eel. And uh who's gonna get his no warden? It does go to the blade uh, blade master. Yeah, this grunt though. This grunt is going to die for sure. He dies to the creeps though, so no XP given. Sintweller is still level 2. The Blade Master wants his last null. Will he get it? Will he get it? 385? Yeah, he gets it for 27. Okay, there's the TC, there's Bestiary, there's Spirit Lodge. There's Keeper of the Grove. Hello. Hello. No Beastmaster, guys. No Beastmaster. Focus going for the Nulls over here. The Null Warden. Grunt's walking in. Null Warden is taking some damage. The Wisp Scouts and Blade Master's nice critical strike 64. And here comes the Demon Hunter. Just showing up. If you guys were paying attention to the mini map, you could have seen this Demon Hunter coming. But I was so focused on the screen. The Keeper, of course, here as well. And uh, XP went to focus. He's level 3 now on the Blade Master. And the Keeper doesn't kill anything. The Keeper is not that great of a hero later in the game. He's good early with the Entangles on the Grunts, on the Raiders. This Wisp scouts. Sees the DC, sees the Blade Master, sees the Raider. And uh, it's dead. Uh, no, detonates. Okay, yeah. It's detonated. And over here, what do we have? Druids of the Talon. They're adapted. They're so close to each other. What item do we get here? Boots of Quantalas. What a super item for Sintweller. He has now 31 agility. Compared to only 29 on Daisho. And this is just level 2. Imagine if he gets level 3. Tome of XP picks up with the Keeper. He's level 2 now. 
Blade Master, you want to kill someone? It's typical. Team Hunter, he's level 3 now. 33 agility. That is like so much agility. There's Entangle on the Raider the, and Snare on the Berserker. The Berserker is dead, guys. And TC just creeping. He's level 2. TC is level 2, just like the Keeper. Forces are under attack. And what's the Blade Master doing here? Selling some items, buys a heal scroll. He only has a circlet and an info potion now. So not that strong of a Blade Master. He has level 1 critical strike. This is like always a choice, especially on Twist and Meadows. Where you might want the level 2 Windwalk because it's such a big map. Uh, what's he, he's buy, he buys a Tinker. But he's just walking over to the left. No, he's going back to the bottom right. Has to be careful, there's a Raider here. Mana burn on this Blade Master. Does he have Master yet? Not yet. What did TC get over here? He's not level 3 yet. He did get a Belt of Giant Strength. Not a great item. Is he gonna sell it? Usually we just see them sell it. Like immediately. Like right now. 200 gold for free. It's not free. But I mean. You sell your item. And then you get 200 gold. There come the peons. He only has one healing scroll. Only one info potion. The Berserker is available. Whoever wants it. But life only 38 supply. He cannot fight his fight. He needs to hide in his base. Has this useless keeper. Not completely useless. But it's not a beast master, guys. Okay, just get away. Focused in by uh, Berserker. He was at 49 supply. He rather first wants to buy a heal scroll. What's he gonna do now with the TC? Buy the heal scroll. No. He saw life coming. Didn't think he had the time. But now he realizes life is just standing there. So he can buy this heal scroll. There it is. Still has the belt of giant strength. Sells it. Buys a TP. Interesting choice. And what's focus planning here? I mean, of course, he cannot fight over here. <laughs> In this uh, self-made little choke here by the Night Elf, by life. TC is so close to level 3. There's a dust. Blade Mash has been seen. Has been fairy fired. He's out of mana. Mana burn cooldown is done. Why not Kodo? Kodo is way too slow and you need a war mill. It's way too expensive. You don't build a war mill in this matchup. So. The Kodo is. Uh, you might as well say he's 455 gold. And on this map, there's just a lot of walking. So slow Kodo is too slow. The second mana burn. There's no shockwaves and uh, you know, are they gonna fight? TC does have a TP if he wants to TP out. Uh, Keeper has a 15 second info potion now. Uh, Blade Master doesn't use his info potion yet, so no reason for the Keeper to use his. There's a TP out by the TC. This Grunt is going to die for sure. This Grunt is gonna be just fine. Oh, he's going for this creep cam now. Interesting choice. He has a pocket factory here scouting. Blade Master kills Mr. Mr. Piggy. One shot, one kill. The TC, is, he wants level 3. He wants level 3 so bad. Live now 50 supply. Focus also at 50. He's really good for life, of course. He doesn't have the orb yet, though. Is he going back home now to buy the orb? I think so. And what is this cyclone right in our face? Hello. Uh, what item did he pick up? Um, what? Oh, no. He didn't kill him yet. Okay. Ring of protection plus 4. Okay. Not really that amazing. Meanwhile, over here... We got a... Uh, did he just got the info potion? I think so, yeah. He had a smaller one earlier. This info potion... Actually, I'm not sure where the smaller info potion went. This info potion is so good in this matchup. It's like one of the best items. It gives you 15% of invulnerability here on the Blade Master. It's so good. It's uh, 15 seconds of of damage pure damage you can kill a hero or two comes a wisp wisp detonates right in the face of the blade master do we see an expansion there's an expansion nice expansion here 
And a burn in the TC, on the TC's face. Uh, he does have a shockwave. There's one shockwave. The Tinker is in trouble. He used the info potion on the Tinker. But is that the 15 second one? I believe so. Demon Hunter has no more info potions. Do we have staff? No staff, but we do have a TP for life. Uh, this Grunt, of course, is going to die. This Peon also dies. And the uh, Blade Master is doing a good job. The, the Raider's in trouble. Uh, Gas Entangled. Not that useless after all, is it? Is it? Nice Entangles here on these Raiders. Uh, Raiders going down. Life is looking very strong. The Demon Hunter is still looking strong. Even though he's low on the hit points, he's still just strong enough. As long as the Blade Master cannot connect to that uh, Demon Hunter. Uh, the Demon Hunter can just kill everything. He can use Heal Scroll maybe to save TC. No, TC just dies and life wins. Yeah, the Blade Master won't be in time to uh, to get any of the turtles. But is the Blade Master even going for the turtles? He doesn't even know it's close position. The Knight of Skull is far position first, so he knows it's close position. The, Ogre, the Blade Master, of course, going for the Ogre Magi. And the Demon Hunter, of course, also going for the Ogre Magi because he knows the focus is going for the Ogre Magi. So he realizes, hey, maybe I can do something there. But can he do something there? Because this Ogre Magi, even if you know the Blade Master is creeping it, what can you do with the Demon Hunter? No, we'll know in a moment, of course, because the Demon Hunter is life's Demon Hunter. And focus, he knows the Demon Hunter is coming because he knows that life knows that uh, focus creeps this. So, and life knows that focus knows. Uh, that li that life knows. So folk uh, life just he doesn't even do anything. He sees uh, he sees that the blade master was in the back, so he went to the base here. Oh, what a game, guys! What a game! Firebrand with the mantle of intelligence. He's so smart. Tojara with the parry up. Eh, that's kind of one of the worst items he could have gotten there. He doesn't even sell it. Not yet. Maybe in a moment. First he gets mana burn for fifty. Uses the clarity even. Wow. He bought the clarity, he uses it, he really wants that mana. Close position, maybe you need that mana. The turtles? <laughs> They're blind, they don't see the demon hunter. <laughs> They're probably just uh, in a daze or something. There's a third archer, a lot of archers. Of course, you go a lot of archers if you're close position in this matchup. Uh, but even if you're not close position, we see a lot of archers in this uh, matchup anyway, on this map. Because we often see life just keeping these uh, these camps with archers and that's is that where the archers are going yes I think so these three archers are gonna creep this creep camp do you matter did he just use the dust now the blade master did he use the dust yes but there were no archers here don't know why he thought maybe there were archers there but maybe often there are archers there this tree is going to ages he's aging the tree is aging guys and the Blade Master. Team Hunter gets the last hit. Team Hunter got the last hit. The item, of course, went to the Blade Master. Nice circlet. Uh, Blade Master did sell the parry up and bought another circlet. Super good logic, Chaco. Thanks. A player's forces are under attack. And the Demon Hunter just attacking some grunts. No, the Demon Hunter stole the item. Wait, did the Demon Hunter steal the circlet? Are you saying the Blade Master uh, bought two circlets? Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently, the Demon Hunter did st uh, steal the item there. My chat here to pay more attention than I do. Super chat. That's why I call my chat Super Chat. Blade Master killing a turtle. Meanwhile, the archers here doing uh, creeping this creeper camp. Of course. Do we get a beast master? Is it beast master time? Yes, this beast master time. There's the ancient of wind. There's a beast master, and he's just gonna creep with the beast master. A player's forces are under attack. He's gonna finish this creep. Yeah. Meanwhile, over here, the blade master. What does he get? Rawr. Ah, Ring of protection, hello, that's not what he wanted. Not what he wanted, but what he deserved. Parry up. Um, a lot better for life than this for focus. Gives it to the demon hunter. He will probably keep it. A player's forces are under attack. Ancient of winds are up. Blade Master creeping over here now. Does he get the Tome of XP? Now Tome of Agility plus two, almost just as good. Hello, Blade Master now with 31 agility on just level two. For well, the Demon Hunter, you see, 25 agility only. Demon Hunter level two, Beast Master level two. 
Beastmaster has plus 6 strength, 30 strength. And there's Adapt on the Druids of the Talon. Just gonna creep over here. There goes this Ogre. Uh, of course, we see the Blade Master creeping over here. There's DC as well. Just showing up. He has two healing salves. There's a Raider. Uh, there's be free, Fion. Be beautiful. Be like Chaco. Be free. Be beautiful. Be like Anta. Thanks for the host, Anta. And uh, welcome to Anta's viewers. Blade Master with the flute. He's just uh, playing the flute, but no one really benefits from it. It's a mu beautiful music. Can't deny that. This one raider harass. He doesn't have pillage yet. Does he get pillage? Not yet. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. The Blade Master level 3. Now, is he going for an expansion? Looks like it. That was what the peon was for. Um, yeah. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. There's the expansion. It's going up. What do we have here? Beastmaster and a piggy. Just killing this ogre warrior. Very fast. Very efficient. Three archers and the piggy and the beastmaster all together just creeping in a, in unison in a you know nice teamwork is what I'm trying to say here. What do we get here? Rope of the Magi. Okay. Don't think it's uh, so great just yet. Just by itself, if you give it to the TC, oh, it keeps it on the blade master for now. But even if you give it to the TC when he's level three, uh, rarely does that give you an extra shockwave. Because of the mana burns but if you if you can com combine it with mana potions with more mana items yeah then maybe it will give you uh, some extra shockwaves beastmaster is level 3 with a birdie here he sees the blade master blade master is hit so 43 against 45 actually I don't like this expansion very much I just remember this is something orc players tried to do a long time ago they did it all the time against night elves and uh, they lost most of the time, even if it was, even if it remained unscouted, because now the orc loses his timing, right? The orc loses his 60 supply army. Instead, he now just has his 48 supply army. He has one healing scroll and one info potion, and he, the knight of just shows up, and he's like, "Oh, your army's so weak. Let me just attack, move in, and win." He has a level three demon hunter, level three beast master, level one tinker. It's enough. Life has the heroes he needs. He has stronger heroes than focus. He has a stronger army than Focus. Focus cannot hold here. And his burrows are super weak. They're spaghetti. So it's not like his uh, base is pretty hard to crack. Blade Master used the Info Potion, but it's not attacking. What a waste. That was like three seconds of wasted Info Potion for sure. Or maybe four even. Uh, where's the Cyclone on the Blade Master? Okay, yeah, I guess Life uh, decides to give him a bit of a present. Some free. Oh no, Blade Master's dead. That's his present. I hope you like your present, Focus. A dead Blade Master. And GG, Life does win this time. And beats focus 3 to 1, even though for a second after uh, in the second game I thought it was going to be 2 0 for focus, but life managed to win the second game and uh, win the other games as well. Here's grit, by the way. Live there 3 to 1 over focus. Life wins $159, focus wins 79.